Welcome to Be Better Studio. Today we're going to be talking about how to make trap the easy way on the Akai MPC Live 2 using the simple basic element of trap music. Trap beats. We'll be right back. So, welcome back. Okay, let's quickly talk about what you understand by this trap beat and the basic element of a trap beat. Basically, we have about four or five elements of trap beat. Uh, we're talking about the 808 drum, uh, that's the kick, and then we have the snare. Um, then we also have the hi hats. So you could pick um, any hi hats of your choice that actually will sound choppy. And then we also have the claps, and you could choose to include the vocals, which um, you know sometimes sensitize the whole thing. You know, all those shouts and the scream and the what and the whoops and the yeah. So yeah, you could mix all those ones in. But basically, there is a pattern to the beat. There's a pattern to that trap music. And you want to ensure that all those things are fully included. Um, I've taken the liberty of putting some of those um, sounds, you know, getting them up and putting them in a folder on this um, uh, wonderful device. We're going to be looking into it right away. So let's go. As I was saying earlier, I've already taken the liberty of putting together, you know, the basic um, sound that will be used for this trap um, session uh, on the Akai MPC Live 2. So let me just take you there right away. Um, I, this is just something I'm currently working on. Very simple um, esoteric sequence. So let me go to Assign Sample. On Assign Sample, I can show you the list of all uh, the beats we're going to be using. That's, that's it right there. Uh, the Dance 1 kick. And then I have the Attack kick. Yeah, the snare that you need. Also, your clap and um, other snares, forms of snares. This is your, your, your close hi hat. So that's basically what we're going to be using today on this um, for, for this trap session. So we'll go back to, to main. Yeah, I've gotten the piano synth there. Let me just see if I can play that for you. It's on the first track. This is what it sounds like. It's a four beat. Uh, uh, loop yeah that works yeah so we're going to be using that and now to work over the remaining trap um, components right now let's go back to the second track which is where we have our drums and i've already put everything inside the trap um uh drum program so all the the all the um, stuff i showed you earlier the whole claps and the heat and the kicks and the uh, hi-hats everything is inside this tr um, drum programs so let's go in now the very basic thing the very first one is okay let's you know you are good with adding your kick you can add your kick at any point in time you can add your your snare at any point in time also your um, hats but those elements the that makes trap interesting or that makes trap trap what it is is actually the fact that you can have some some you know maybe like your snare going in some funny way you know chopping and all those even your your snare chopping in a very funny way i'm going to show you how to do that how to achieve that quickly and easily if you are using any of this mpc doesn't matter which mpc you are using the mpc live the mpc live 2 the mpc uh the even if it's the first or the one yeah the studio you can actually do this thing maybe like how you're going to do it might be might differ but you get it on definitely on it so let's go the very first one i want to show you is how to make that choppy sound the the crrr that you hear on the trap beat using the snare pretty simple there's something we call note repeats if you put hands on the note repeat basically this is your time difference so you want to do maybe like one of eight one of 16 one of 32 one of 64 and all that that's basically it and so anytime you press your notes repeat and you press anything as you can can you hear that can you hear that? Can you hear that? Exactly. So that's basically what, what it gives you. But then I, I, I don't have to like hold, press and hold it. I can just press shift and hold the notes. Now it's already automatically enabled. So while my hand is on this, any of the snare, maybe this, okay, this is this, this is um, the heart on this. I can move around. So that's because if I'm on, the, if I'm on my um, heart, I can basically just move around. That's basically how you achieve that. It's way easier to achieve that. Um, the whole, you know, your snare, you know, or your or your heart running up and down just on that single roll and making that 
creating that funny and awesome effect now there's another thing we need to talk about is that pitch the way some you know some beat to just pitch up and pitch down like this now those you need to also know how to do that from here uh i've tried that on on ableton live before and i realized that it takes it took me like i think some couple of um minutes to set you know to actually bring the sound in and then to convert it into maybe like to lay it on the pad and then starts pressing on it to pitch up or pitch down yeah it's there but it takes my like a little bit of time but here in less than a minute you can just set it up and have it rolling so basically to do that let me use i would use um let me use okay let me see what, what can i okay let me disable this notepad let me use this, this part six it's also another snare we're gonna use that for this um uh simple pitch roll that's a picture so this is how we're gonna this is gonna work so what i'll do is i go to my menu and i go to q link edit q link edit you say the way it's arranged you have one two three four which are touch sensitive because the light is on this side that means this is the, this is what we're dealing with right now if i press the q link button and this move to the first one or second or the next one automatically it means that's where i want to modify but let's stick with the first one and then let me use the second one so on while i pressed on this you can see that it actually changes it's on the second one so what we do is we want to ensure that we are on program and want to ensure that the type is pad i want to ensure that also here we are on program mode so here i'll click and select the particular pad i'm trying to work with so let me see like it's on pad six okay let, okay i think i like the way this kicks in let's use pad eight so i go to six seven eight i'm on eight now is the mafia snare then this parameter i will take it from off into tuning Maybe i put it into tuning as you can see the name here will change to tuning and basically what that means is if i if i'm pressing this and i turn it can you hear that it's already changing but it's not returning and that might be something i might just need to do it and leave it so that it comes back so this is not returning it might not work well for me so basically the only thing you need to do is this make it moment momentarily just momentary when you when you check this it means anytime i take my hands off it it comes back to its default position that's basically what we're talking about so now that is when you can if i come back to the main main screen and i enable the note repeat and i press this and then can you hear that because it's on 16 let's go to 32 you feel it more and you see that if i go to 64 yeah awesome you hear that so if i put um this um the third this um, pretty much simple that's basically what we did is it so um now using those same simple elements of me pitching down pitching up and you know changing my time divisions and all that i'm going to play for you right now what i've been able to do with all of this the same sequence i'm working on currently actually and um, i'm going to play that for you and then you see how it works in action so i've already taken the liberty of putting everything on just one sequence let's go That'll be all for now. As you can see, very easy to make your trap beat, um, especially with the Akai MPC Live 2. Awesome, incredible um, workflow, and it makes it a lot easier than probably for using any other device to handle your trap beats. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and you know, see you in the next one.